Barack Obama called me Fuzzy Head. And my, now my mom calls me Fuzzy Head. And that's all I have to say about Fuzzy Heads. <laughs> When I grow up, I want to be the President of the United States. 2045, I'm going to make good speeches to not do any more wars, tell them good stuff about the country. Leadership is something that I would define as someone who inspires others to find their own ideals, but also to be open-minded and, and listen to other people's views and ideas. In the classroom, every student has an opportunity to be a leader. When a student takes ownership of their learning, they have a vested interest. It makes them motivated to push themselves further than if you said, well, you need to do A, B, and C, and if you do those things, you're going to get a good grade. My favorite part of the day is math because we get to learn new stuff, and I love doing a lot of work. Being a lifelong learner isn't just about learning new information. It's about having a full life. I feel like you can kind of do anything. And I think at Miami Country Day, letting children guide their own learning and follow their passions will create lifelong learners. I want to be a baker for sure because I love using my creativity. Baking, you need to follow every single step exactly. You can learn math by measurements. You can learn organization by having all the ingredients. And it's like science, and I love science. They find a passion. And when people see the work they've done, have third graders done that? Yeah, they have, because they've guided the learning and they've chosen what they've wanted to learn about. Our daughter spent the day with a class at the time, and I'll never forget, I came to pick her up, and as soon as you know, we got away from everyone and the two of us were alone, she said, Mom, I really want to go to school here. <laughs> so we knew it was the right fit just in the beginning. It's first and foremost a place where kids can learn, where kids are safe, where kids learn at an early age to be part of a community where kids' individual strengths are found and you know, really allowed to, to grow and continue to expand. She has her own independence and her own personality. And as a mother, I credit the lower school in giving him that gift, that confidence. You just see that consistent growth, that comfort in himself, the love of learning. And we just couldn't ask for a better education for our son and assuming that he gets accepted, hopefully our second <laughs> son as well.